Here at Mobile Asia Expo in Shanghai, China, I have the opportunity of speaking with Burj Ivazian. He's a senior consultant and practice leader of 4G and LTE at Heavy Reading. Burj, why is it important to enterprises for carriers to deploy 4G? So as you know, I'm a senior consultant and I work with operators around the world on their 4G plans and their implementation of LTE. And for them, the most important thing is how do they bring LTE services and applications to market and get customers to adopt these services to benefit their business. So if all they do is roll out a network, it's spending money without making money. In addition, it doesn't enable the customer to benefit from that. So what we're focusing on now is enterprise, government, and small and medium business adoption of 4G LTE. How is LTE different by industry? So each industry, vertical industry, and type of company will find its own benefits, but there's something in common. That is, business people need to be connected all the time wherever they are, and they need to have a huge quality of service in terms of broadband connectivity. So they expect the kind of connectivity they would have if they're sitting at their desk connected with an ethernet cable, wherever they are on their mobile device. And in fact, most people now are not even carrying a laptop anymore. They're treating their mobile device as their primary means of connectivity. Accessing applications, their business apps, as well as their personal use. So in that world, LTE is the critical piece of the carrier solution, and the, they have to deliver them a vertically oriented suite. So as an example, carriers now are going by type of customer, by type of industry, and building solutions that maximize the benefit that this kind of in-the-hand connectivity solution delivers. So how is LTE different for large enterprises, government, and small and mid-sized businesses? So if we're in a government agency, uh, mobile broadband is a critical piece of delivering government services to the end customers. Whether this is in the healthcare field, we know that delivering healthcare to remote locations is very challenging. Uh, there are hospitals, but there are patients that are not in the hospital. There are remote clinics, there are people who need care in the home, and the coverage and the quality of the broadband that's delivered over a 4G network provides the means for government to reach the end user wherever they are. And not only with the actual physical person, the doctor, having access, but having that so that the doctor is remote and the service is delivered directly to the recipient of that service. You can apply that to education, you can apply that to any kind of field service, and governments become much more effective when LTE is available to them as a tool to deliver government services. Now, from small and medium business, many of these companies don't have an IT department, they don't have uh, a network of their own, this is their network. This is their IT, and they rely on the service providers to enable them to be able to compete as though they're a large enterprise, as though they work for a big company. But they don't. They're running their own business or they're part of a small and medium business company, and they need tools that are scaled to that kind of application requirement and that are all-encompassing, not just a point solution, not just for email, but for everything I need to do, whether I'm gonna enter orders, whether I'm gonna look at video training, whatever I require is gonna be enabled by that device. Now you take the other extreme. Uh, companies like Oracle, who are in the business of enabling large enterprise communications, are relying on 4G networks to be able to support enterprise high level of application requirements. And for that, you need the security, you need the authentication to know that this service is just for me, and uh, my access to applications is based on who I am and what I'm allowed to do. I'm part of an enterprise. I am not merely a person out in the open network. 
I have to be able to perform as part of a company. And Burj, what is Huawei's specific contribution to enterprise adoption of LTE? So the unique thing about Huawei, if you look around this show, uh, all of the vendors that are positioned in this uh, expo are single solution vendors, typically. So they have network solutions, they may have devices, they may even have software specific to enterprise. None of them put together an entire solution with an operator service provider in the center as the channel to market, enabling that operator to support each of these end user communities. Huawei is delivering the network to enable the operator, but they're delivering the applications, the devices, and ultimately the solutions that operators need to be able to sell and offer 4G services to the whole market from the consumer to the small and medium business to the government to the enterprise. So Huawei's encompassing capabilities is quite unique in the marketplace. Burj, it's always an enlightening pleasure. Thanks for your time.